Hi there and welcome to today's Quentin Carpenter Nature of Flowers photo P in your iPhone tutorial. Today we're going to make one of these really, really amazing circle patterns that create a circle of, of flowers. Um, to do that we're going to use a photograph of a daisy and seven photographs of circles arranged in such a way that they create this pattern. I'll show you how we're going to do that. First of all, we need to be in photo P. In photo P we need to go to File New. We need to make a square which is 1000 pixels by 1000 pixels and click create. Um, I found it nice to work on a grey square so first of all we're going to go to the bucket fill we're going to choose a nice grey click OK and bucket fill the background layer so we've got our grey layer. Okay then we need to start drawing the circles. To do this we need to use the circle tool which is the ellipse tool rather in the shape menu. We need to change it so that there is no fill. It is got black, it's 10 point and it's fixed size. We can change all of these settings in the menus. Once we've got that we then draw our first circle. We use the red lines to line it up so it's in the middle sideways and in the middle upwards. Once we've done that we then draw a, another one. This time we make sure it's directly in the middle. You see the red cross? And then the third one we draw so that it is lined up at the bottom. And you'll see we have created this shape. Now I find if we then draw another one, we can't quite line it up how we need it for the ones that make the side shape. So if I go to the layer menu and I click on this layer and I go to the layer menu here and I duplicate the layer, so I've now got a copy of it. If I then use the move tool and I move this layer, you see it's got a little slot in the middle where the middle is. I need to line that up with the intersection of those two lines to create the first part of the circle there. Everyone's slightly too high, so drop it down slightly. There. That's right. And then if I go to the layer menu, and if I go layer, duplicate layer again, and then I move that one, so that it lines up perfectly again with that intersection so that all the lines are exactly lined up like so. I'm going to go to the layer menu, layer, duplicate layer one more time, move that one over this way. So again everything's lining up perfectly to create that flower of life effect like so, and I go to the layer menu, layer, duplicate layer one more time, so I've now got seven circles, move that one up and get that one to line up perfectly as well, there we go, and if I go to the square tool so you can see that it's all arranged, then if I go to the layer menu, and make a new layer, you can see I now have the base of my image. I then need to add the flower to this, so if I go to File, Open and Place, Photo Library, go to my albums, find my cutout flowers, there's my flower, and I add that. You can see it's coming much too big, so if I go to my width and height, I think I need to probably about half it. 15 and 15. It should now be my flower on top of my circle of life. So I need to go to my layer menu. I need to go to arrange. I need to send it to the back. I need to go to layer. I need to go to arrange. I need to go bring forwards. 
So it is just behind. And you can see there is my daisy that fits almost perfectly with what I'm doing. Now, I don't want the black bit of it because I think it ruins the whole effect. So I need to go to the layer menu, click on the daisy, and I can go to select magic cut, click OK. So I've now cut out the layer. And now I've got my daisy. I can see where it goes. So I go to the move tool. I've always suggested having auto select selected, but in this case I suggest you don't because it will just click on a circle. I've got my layer with a daisy and then I can move it so that it lines up perfectly with my flower of life. And I may need to just turn it round slightly so that it fits with the petals exactly how I wanted it in my design. There we go. That right, keeps moving. Perfect. Okay, that's how you make a flower of life with a daisy. Um, you can use any flower in this design. You can keep making more and more and experiment with how they all look, different colours, different flowers, etc. But these seven circles in this arrangement is a very famous um, pattern in ancient history and through to today. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much for watching and enjoy making your own. Okay, goodbye.